Hello everyone, welcome to day four of your seven day realign challenge. Um, today we're going to be connecting with God through creation. Do me a favor if you are watching this video for the first time, I want you to know this is part of a series. So if uh, you would like to watch, continue to watch it, I, I very firmly uh, uh, recommend and suggest and ask that you go back and watch day one. You don't want to miss a thing, right? Day, watch day one, day two, day three, and then watch today's. Uh, that way you, you kind of see you, you're going through the series and you're not missing anything. But today we're going to speak about connecting with God through creation. And so uh, I believe that is 10 minutes or 20 minutes. I can't remember, but I'll have that in the comments. You're just adding that to your uh, time of grace, uh, grace meditation and, and thanksgiving, your, and your time of reading the scriptures and reflecting on the scriptures. You're just adding this little piece gently adding this this on and i believe it's going to bless you but before we go on further let's go ahead and pray father we just thank you for this time we honor you we trust you at your word lord god we thank you because you speak to us in so many ways we know that you are in control and we know that it, that everything was made by you and for you and everything has a purpose in you and so we thank you for your wonderful creation as, and uh, we ask that you help us uh, throughout this week as we uh, connect with that you, that you have created. In Jesus' name we pray. Okay, so um, I just want to start with a little story. Um, so back in december i don't know who remembers if you are from northeast ohio and even i think the this wasn't just uh northeast ohio i think it was like uh, across state lines it was it was a big storm a big snowstorm that happened back in december and uh, there were reports everywhere of uh, tree branches that had uh, snapped under the pressure and the weight of the heavy snow um, it was a beautiful snow. I think it was the first snow in December, um, but it was very, very heavy. And um, my backyard has trees all over it. I mean, there's so many trees in our backyard. And they're big trees with big branches. But the weight of the snow snapped a lot of branches off. So, um, at first it was a beautiful scene and I took pictures of it because it was kind of mysterious and it was like a winter wonderland um, back there in the backyard uh, and it was something really really beautiful to behold but when the snow melted um, it was a mess a complete mess and we still have a mess back there that we have to clean up uh, of branches that have uh, snapped off and it was a really sad, it's a sad scene. Every time I look at my backyard and I see all those branches down, I was like, man, how sad. And you know, one day I was looking at those branches and John 15 came to mind where it talks about, uh, it was John 15, one, where, where Jesus is saying, I am the vine and you are the branches, right? Um, and I, I thought about that and I said, wow, sometimes, so it, it was like the Holy Spirit was showing me, but you see that snow is the pressures and the weight of the world on people's shoulders. It, it's, it weighs heavy on you. Sometimes our distractions, sometimes, you know, sometimes things look beautiful, just like that snow looked absolutely beautiful all over those branches. It just looks gorgeous but they are a distraction it could be distractions in your life it could be equivalent to um, busy at work being so so busy with your life that you don't have time to remove the burdens off of you so that you can breathe and 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 rest it could be beautiful things that you're doing and adding onto your life um, but when it gets too too heavy you know, this is where we see where, where, where God said, you know, 
bring to me your burdens, trade with me. Um, let me carry your burdens because, and then you take up my yoke because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You know, uh, nature speaks to us, right? And uh, as I prepared for this part of the series, um, it made me, it brought me back to the memory of that. And I wanted to share that with you, that you can get a word from God just by walk, taking a walk through the park just by walking in your neighborhood, by even sometimes just holding a baby. I don't know if that's ever happened to any of you, but sometimes holding a baby, you just feel so connected to God's love. You feel connected to his creation and the beauty of, of what it is to be alive. Amen. You know, his breath, his life is running all through us. We breathe because of him. We live because of him and for him. So uh, I want to encourage you, here's some ways to, to connect with creation this year, this, um, this next few days. And going forward, remember we are, we are, um, we are building good habits or good things to do to reconnect with God. I'm hoping that some of these things will stick with you as you go forward and they will bring life to you. So I was thinking some of the ways to connect with God's creation is to, like I said, hold a baby, take a walk in the park, look into someone's eyes. How, what was the last time you looked at someone's eyes? Uh, I don't know about you, something always happens, something always mysterious and supernatural happens when we look into someone's eyes. And I want to believe and believe wholeheartedly because the eyes are the windows to your soul. And um, I believe that we can connect with God, connect with God by, cre by connecting with that individual and asking God to speak to us for that person or allowing that moment to create a, a safe space for everyone involved. But, it, you know, it depends who you're looking into, whose eyes you're looking to. But it could be your children. It could be your husband or your wife. It could be, uh, you know, a loved one, a parent, someone that you love, right? Um, that's always a good way to connect. And then uh, you can make a phone call or visit someone or, or um, pet your dog, right? Or your cat uh, or your pet, whatever pet you have. Or go to the zoo and connect with these uh, God's creation because in there, if you if you listen intently, God can begin to share His heartbeat with you about everything. You know, Jesus was always talking about nature and comparing it to things. So uh, the kingdom of God, you know, the kingdom of God is like a tree, right? A kingdom of heaven is like a tree. He would say and. Uh, he calls us like trees. If we abide in him, we become like trees planted by still waters. And as the deer pants after the waters, so my soul pants after thee. Right. So there, there's this, uh, all there's this beautiful common thread of just a pure and loving uh, connection to nature and God's creation. And we see that God cared about His creation when he told Adam and Eve, he placed them in the garden to not only work the garden, but to take care of it. Care. Listen to that word, to take care of it. What does that mean? It means to love it, to, 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 to watch over it with care, not just working it, right but but you're caring for it you're you're putting your soul into it you're 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 working it um so you know a friend of mine told me you know you should uh why don't you try taking your shoes off i know it's winter right now up here but if you're watching from florida somewhere you can do this at home take your shoes off and ground yourself right uh touch the ground with your with your bare feet um Things like that, they can connect us and, and not to connect in a spooky way or a mysterious way, but to connect because saying, I, you know, God put me on this earth and, um, and he 
his whole being is all over, not just in me, but in everything. So I want to read to you the scripture base to that. And we're reading out of first, I'm sorry, we're reading out of um, Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1, it's found in the New Testament. And it's uh, this, I'm reading from 15 and on. Christ is preeminent in uh, creation. That means he's the first, right? Verse 15 says, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. And get this in verse 16. For by him all things, somebody say all, that means all. That means all. There's, there's, there's nothing uh, that he didn't create. For by him, all things were created. Remember that we've been talking about that he is the living word. So by the word of God, all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth. Visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. That means everything. Everything. All things were created through him and they were created for him. Amazing. That means everything has a purpose that was given by him and for him. And he is before all things and in him all things consist. I'm going to read to you the commentary. Commentary says firstborn does not mean that Christ was born to the father. Rather, as the firstborn Jewish son had a certain preeminence, so Christ has authority and preeminence over all creation, before all things, both in time and in supremacy. Because of Christ's supreme authority and oversight, all things consist, that is, they hold together. All things are held together. Um, so it's important to know that everything is held together by Christ. So if that's important, if, if, if you understand that, then you know that apart from him, we fall apart, right? Apart from Christ we begin to de be detached from the vine who is the source which is Jesus Christ so you are a branch and today's lesson I want or today's teaching I want you to understand that it's important that you stay connected to him in every way possible and so I pray that as you continue this journey, that when you go forth uh, and you intentionally find a way to connect with his creation, that you would remember that he is in that living being. In him, for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on, in earth visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. I hope you remember that scripture that, uh, tonight as you meditate and think about the Lord. And uh, yeah, that's, it's a simple simple one today. I hope that um, you enjoy your time and I want, want to hear back from you guys. Please send me your feedback either through a text or or rather through comments. I'm sorry and um, let me know. Let me know how you're, how you're experiencing everything and uh, I'm excited for you guys to see this journey tomorrow's day five. Hey, get excited actually and, and, and we're, we're almost there. Don't give up yet. Okay. God bless you and have a good night.